Have you been considering getting a Kashic record reading or maybe you have no idea what it is and you're like following me and you're curious and you're really wondering, okay, Jenny, you've shared videos about what is an Akashic record reading and you've shared about what to expect. And now you're wondering, okay, all right, I'm bought in, but what the heck do I do with the information in a reading? And what if something comes up that I'm not ready for? I'm Jenny Hala, Akashic records guide, founder of Akashic activations. And of course, a freaking life adventurist. I'm just saying I had to add that in. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what comes up in a reading and what you do with the information. First of all, when you say yes and you book a reading, you are already, like you've already like put yourself in the queue and you've said yes and your Akashic Record guides are already pulling the information down that they know will be in your soul's best purpose and the highest purpose, right? So what happens is when you get on a reading, what will be shared is what you need to know in this now time and what will help you on your path and help you gain more clarity about who you are, gain more clarity about um, whatever is going on in your life, get confirmation. I mean, there's a lot of different benefits that come from a reading. So what happens is when you come on a reading, you all send you a list of potential questions. You can ask whatever you want and the guides will share with you the information that's in your highest and best good today. So if they're bringing up something that you feel like, oh, I don't know if I want them to like share this, then they're bringing it up for a reason. They're bringing it up to help you release it, to move past it, to face it, to hear it from a different perspective. But also know too that they're not gonna bring up anything that is gonna be harmful or that is going to um, cause you any harm or damage or anything. And everything in a reading is completely confidential. So whatever comes up, I am not going to share outside of the reading. Like it stays in that space. And a lot of times I don't remember all the details from the readings anyway. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, the other part of the question is what do I do with the information? There is a lot of information that comes through in the reading. You get a recording so you can always review it. But with the information that comes through, it's up to you to be able to sift through it and pick and choose what resonates, what feels timely, and what are the thing or things that you want to and you feel are aligned to take action on now. There will be different things that may not make any sense at all to you that will be revealed in the days, months, and time to come. And really, you will have the alignment, you will have the clarity, you will have the understanding of what steps to take next. Um, once again, everybody's different. So when I share information and I'm channeling information, I am sharing whatever the guides and the record keepers are sharing in that moment. So I'm not interpreting the information and telling you what to do with it or what it means, because it's going to mean something very unique to you. Now, um, for example, if I, I'll tell you one example in one reading, I had saw like someone asked a question and I saw a clown riding a tricycle. And if I would have interpreted that, I would have completely messed up the message. After the reading, the person told me that that was exactly what they needed to hear, exactly what they needed to know. It answered all their questions. And so that's why I just share. And so you listen and you pay attention to what's resonating, what's not, what's in alignment, what other thoughts you're getting, and you pull out the information that's relevant and you apply it right away or not, ultimately it's your choice. But that's what you do with a reading. The reading's just to help you. And a lot of the people that go through the readings with me are getting clarity, are getting confirmation, are enjoying the way that things are then portrayed back to them. Things that they may have already known had a download or a nudge or something about, and they just didn't have, they had like a block there and moving forward. So a lot of times those blocks are released and you're able to move forward. So that's what you can expect. If you are wanting to try this out for yourself and see how it feels and what comes through, I would be honored to do a reading for you. You can book your reading at akashicactivations.com and stay tuned for the next video. And I'll be sharing another little tidbit about Akashic Record Readings.